Hello and welcome to this beginner series in progr on programming a Cocos 2D game on the iPad. Uh, this series, as I said, is aimed at basically complete beginners with the only assumption that you've already got Cocos 2D installed under Xcode on your Mac. If you haven't, then there are so many videos out there on how to do it that I haven't done one myself, but if you want me to, then put a comment in the comments section, I will. Otherwise, I'll assume that everything is installed and working okay. And like I said, this is going to be aimed at beginners, and we're going to make a little game, a sort of a tile puzzle game that looks like this. So it's the kind of thing you had when you were a kid, or I had when I was a kid anyway, that was usually a piece of plastic. And you can shovel, shuffle the tiles around like so. I've programmed in some irritating sounds. And when you've made the picture, you get a little cheer and a happy face. And like I said, graphically, Leonardo da Vinci won't be uh, feeling worried or like he's got any competition, but it's simply for demonstration purposes. And more interesting, I think, is how you actually program it to do this kind of stuff. We've got a reset function, an easy mix the board up function, a hard mix up the board function, which mixes the board up a lot. And that's basically it. Programming wise, to actually program this uh, little game, We'll be using a program called Zuptex. I think it's pronounced Zuptex, which you may or may not have. It's a program you have to pay for. It isn't free, and it's used to create sprite sheets. And don't worry if you haven't got the program, because I'll supply all of the graphics that come with this, or that we'll be using in the program, for download anyway. So you won't need to use it. But I will probably spend a video looking at how you use this program very quickly and explaining what the sprite sheets are. And then, of course, the program itself will be running under Xcode. And like I said, using Cocos 2D, and it'll be kept as simple as possible. We'll have one scene, we'll have a couple of layers, and we'll have a couple of wave files, sound files to actually play inside the game as well, so you can see how that's built in. And nothing really more than that. No menus or anything like this. No real saving of settings or anything. I'll do that in another series with a more complicated game I've done. The other thing we'll be doing that's perhaps a little bit more unique in this um, series is, as you can see from the other series I've done, I program quite a bit in C. And what I really, really like about programming for the iPad and the iPhone is you can actually combine C and Objective C in the same program. And I'll be doing the same as well in this program because I find that you can accomplish a lot of things much more powerfully and quickly using both of the languages because both have advantages and since I've been programming Objective-C I've actually really really grown to like it as well particularly the functions and naming the functions but anyway so this might be slightly unique to you in the sense that we'll be using some C as well and don't worry we won't be using any really complicated C just be very simple stuff with some variables and I think some arrays and not much more Okay then, so that's it for this video. In the next video we'll actually get started with setting up programming the game. Thanks very much for watching, paying attention, comments, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.